Fraunhofer and I'm originally from Germany. I'm a yoga teacher and Iris teacher level one. And I have the blessing to be on a wonderful trip here. Um, Sylvia Vasquez is running a project with her organization, Courageous Girls. And we're currently, or we did already, hike to Mount Everest base camp two days ago with uh, five um, survivors from human trafficking from Shakti Samoa, another organization in Nepal. So I had the blessing to support this wonderful journey of the girls and um, courageous girls with the teaching of Iris. So what is the beauty of Iris to get combined with survivors of human trafficking? Um, what I experienced here is we are working since roughly one and a half months now with this group of girls and um, we give iris sessions with them so we have a nepali audio cd we're using and also i uh, try to give them a little bit more of a um, insight into the protocol of iris so sun, sun cow bar with the inner resource etc also the body sensing welcoming to the point of joy and awareness and my experience with the girls so far is, and they also gave me that feedback, that Iris really, um, for, first of all, they enjoy the practice, but also is strengthening the inner core. So in the beginning, they had some troubles, of course. First, for example, to close their eyes or to concentrate on all those guiding through your body parts. But the more and more they practice, for example, here during the hike, we do it nearly every night, or we try um, on sp special spiritual places in the mountains during the day, we try to have a little iris session. Um, they say that it really connects them again with their body, with the different parts and being aware of what is happening. And then on the further step, being aware of the emotions and thoughts that are coming up. And they try to welcome those body sensations and um, emotions as we say like in a guest house you welcome the guest who is knocking on your door so I experienced this journey as a really wonderful part of my own life to also see what iris how iris can help um, survivors of human trafficking to go along on their own journey be powerful and um, do whatever they want to do in their life and go on no matter what have happened to them in the past but to experience and fear that there is still one part in themselves which is always and have been always whole and healthy inside of them so if you would like to support us we are happy no matter how you want to do this if you want to support in your own areas where human trafficking is um, is a topic and it is a global problem or if you want to support us financially with a um, donation we are happy to have, have your support currently we try to um, have a teacher training here in Nepal running next April in 2016 that's our major goal to for some of the girls who now joined this hike but also for other stuff and survivors of non-profit organizations to become Irish teachers themselves so that they can teach them um, survivors of human trafficking and we go, want to go from Nepal to India and to the rest of the world so it's um, the first step now here and um, I'm very happy and blessed to volunteer at this project and to, to set the first stone um, and the rest is up to all of us so I'm happy if you would um, l love to help us and support us Danewat. Namaste. Namaste.